Hey guys, Ashley with Amari. So a few resources for you guys. We are located in Elizabeth and Highland Park, New Jersey, and I also offer virtual consults. So if you guys need my help, give the office a call, 732-841-0142, and our scheduling coordinator can help you get set up with an appointment. We also have our online shop. So all the products that I talk about in my videos, those are all in our online shop for you guys to purchase. On our Instagram, Amari Healing Arts is our Instagram, all the products are linked right there in our bio. Also, the online shop is linked, and it's linked in the description box for each video. So you guys can go and check those out. And then we have our online course school, the post-op academy. So all of the things that you would need to know post-op, we are doing online courses for. So things like what kind of massages you need, when you need to get them, who to get them from, how to find a therapist like me, all of that we have online courses for. There are going to be more courses coming out all the time. So check in on that to see what's new and what you guys can learn. If you like my videos, all of those courses are exclusive content. All those videos are exclusive content. None of them are on YouTube. They're all in our courses. So that is amarihealingarts.teachable.com. The link for that is also in the description box, and it is also linked in our bio on Instagram. So I hope you guys enjoy the content. Ashley with Amare. I will see you soon. Bye. Hey, guys. Ashley with Amare. Hey, okay, so I want to talk to you guys about something, as usual. Something I keep hearing, and I always hear from you guys, and I realize I've never done a video on it. The liposuction didn't work. We're at like six weeks out. We're at eight weeks out. We're at three months out. We're at a year out. The lipo didn't work. I still look the same. The lipo didn't work. But I have incisions, and my surgeon told me that he did those areas of lipo and took the fat out, but it didn't work. That is not physically possible. Here's why. So before we get into several reasons why you guys think this and how to fix the problem, because it did work, it's just you're not seeing the results. And we're going to get into why in a second. But before we get into all of that, we need to understand what the liposuction procedure is. Because you guys are on the table getting this done, whether you're in like a twilight state or like you're completely knocked out, local or general anesthesia. Um, you guys don't know what's going on during the procedure. You don't even understand a lot of the times what the procedure is. So a couple things we're going to go over. We need to define what liposuction is. Um, before we do that, let me just give you real quick. The reasons you say that it doesn't work is one, massages that are not actually manual lymphatic drainage you still have swelling Two, garments that are trapping swelling in the area that you had the lipo done because they're not compressing properly creating that container and three diet which we're going to get into um because that's always like a a thing that nobody understands as far as like results after surgery um and how your body retains fluid so we're going to get into that in a second so I have an article here from PlasticSurgery.org, my favorite uh, resource. <laughs> PlasticSurgery.org, cosmetic slash cosmetic procedures slash liposuction slash procedure. So we need to define what liposuction is to understand how it works, then for you guys to say it didn't work. So this article is what are the steps of a liposuction procedure? Step one is anesthesia, right, local or general, um, to sedate you. And then step two, this is the important part, the incision. So liposuction is performed through a small inconspicuous incision, right? Your little, your little hole. First, diluted local anesthesia is infused to reduce bleeding and trauma, tumescence fluid. I have a whole video on what tumescence fluid is on my YouTube. If you just type in Amare tumescence fluid, you'll find it and I explain what that is. So a thin hollow tube or a cannula is inserted through the incision to loosen excess fat using a controlled back and forth motion. The dislodged fat is then suctioned out of the body using a surgical vacuum or syringe attached to the cannula. So the different types of liposuction, traditional um, cannula is inserted under the skin to break up the fat, high pressure vacuum is applied the cannula to, to the cannula to remove the fat from the body. Power assisted liposuction, using a vibrating cannula to break up the stubborn fat into smaller pieces, making it easier to remove. Ultrasound assisted liposuction uses ultrasonic vibrations to create high amount of energy to dissolve the fat and then remove it. Vaser liposuction is a new generation form of ultrasound assisted. Laser assisted liposuction uses similar to UAL ultrasound, except it uses lasers to dissolve the fat. Water assisted uses a pressurized stream of salium to loosen the fat cells. Salium, cheese, saline, sorry guys. <laughs> Either way, it's being removed. 
It's being taken out of your body. So it's, it couldn't not work. Here's one caveat to this though. Um, if your surgeon, right, let's say you go in and you want lipo 360 and your surgeon marks you up all around and says, okay, we're going to do all of this, but we don't know how much we're taking from each area, depending on how much you can handle, depending on the look that you want. So sometimes there is that area where it's kind of like an extra area, right? Like your bra rolls or something where it's, they see how much they can take from that area. When you go in for a consult or if you've had liposuction, you know that they're like, okay, let's see how much we can do. I'm gonna try to get as much as possible, right? So that's a different situation than getting lipo to your back, like the before and after that I just posted, where it is minimal lipo all in that area and the work was done. But you guys fill up with swelling and then don't see the results because you don't know what happened because you weren't awake and you didn't see what happened. So you think, oh, well, maybe it just didn't work. It's not possible for it to not work unless your surgeon did less in that area and it was talked about. Unless your surgeon wasn't able to do that area because like your stomach needed more liposuction and that's where we were trying to get the major results versus your back. And that was something that was spoken about. The procedure itself removes the fat, so it can't not work. Liposuction, fun fact, was used way before cosmetic procedures and is still used for clients with painful fat syndrome, lipedema, where their body produces too many fat cells on their own in one area and deposits them in an area like the legs. That's where it's most common. Um, or the arms or the abdomen. Generally, it's the extremities. Um, but liposuction is used medically for that, so it does work. Here's where the problem comes in. You guys, we got three things, right? It's the recovery. It's all the three things of the recovery. That's the problem. It's not the surgery and it's not your surgeon. It's what you're doing for your aftercare. So manual lymphatic drainage, your massages. Here we go. Okay, so your massages are supposed to be, as I show you in every video now, this gentle skin stretching, slow motion. That's it. It's a gentle pump just to stretch the skin gently. And it's not even like stretching the skin so much as it is just moving the skin in a very systematic way, going with the actual mapping of your lymphatic system to be able to get your lymph nodes to reabsorb the swelling so it goes back into your bloodstream, so it heads to your kidneys, so you pee it out. That's how it works, right? So when we're talking about your massages. If you are doing within your first three months, and you're not healed, ultrasound, cavitation, body contouring, wood therapy, cupping, oil rubbing, massage, if it's anything other than this gentle skin stretching motion, it's gonna cause swelling, especially in those areas that you had the lipo done because it's creating more injury to an already injured area. Because again, liposuction, we're using a tube or a cannula to go in there and do like this and suck the fat out from that area. One, you've got the this motion going in there, right? Two, it's surgically removing pieces of your body. I say it all the time. Your body doesn't know it wasn't attacked by a bear. It thinks a bear mauled you and took out all your tissue. So now it wants to fill that hole and make new tissue. What makes new tissue is swelling. So it's gonna fill that area up with swelling. One, to help heal the area, Two, to help try and make new tissue. The point of your massages and a compression garment that is proper, not anything that's loose, not anything that feels like workout compression, but an actual container, an actual garment that doesn't squeeze you and isn't loose, but holds you firmly without all of this added squeezy pressure. The point of that is to create that container so that that space where the fat was taken out is closed and not filling up with swelling. We're trying to tell your body, hey, we did this on purpose. We don't want that space refilling with swelling. So like in that before and after that I just posted this week, you guys see the swelling in that area. You see your body trying to fill the area because it's not gonna let you just have a hole in it. And you think, oh, the lipo didn't work because the swelling's there for weeks. The swelling's there for months because we never told your body, either with the garment being proper, stop filling that space, and with the manual lymphatic drainage massages that gets your body to suck the swelling back, we never told your body, hey, 
we don't need this filled right now. We didn't want this filled. We wanted it taken out. We don't want anything coming back in this area. So the biggest reason why you guys think the liposuction didn't work, whether it's chin lipo, arm lipo, thigh lipo, lipo 360, bra rolls, anywhere. If you think the liposuction didn't work, it is swelling. Unless your surgeon has told you, no, I actually skipped that area because you needed it somewhere else, or I didn't do as much in that area because you needed it somewhere else. Maybe we can hit that with round two if that's what you'd like. If that was the discussion that was had, that's different. But if your surgeon is saying, they did all the liposuction, the surgery worked. The reason you think it didn't work with lipo is because you are still swollen. Swelling can be retained in your body after surgery for years because it heals in that space between the skin and the new baseline of tissue. And that space was never told, hey, close and suck the swelling back. We don't need it in here. We don't want this in here. So that's the major reason why that happens, why you guys think that the lipo didn't work. Now, let's talk about the garments. Um, I'm just making sure. Oh, this is another one from the Cleveland Clinic, which I already went over, but it says, um, what is liposuction? Liposuction is a cosmetic fat removal procedure. Removal. It can be permanent, it can permanently remove fat cells that store fat from a particular section of your body that you want to improve. Liposuction helps get rid of fat deposits that don't respond to diet and exercise. So again, it's removing, so it worked. Let's get into the details about the problems. So when you're talking about your massages and you're talking about cavitation machines, incisional drainage, body contouring, cupping, wood therapy, aggressive massages that hurt, that tissue is healing. So the only reason you have swelling after lipo is to heal the area, right? And your swelling's supposed to stop inflating, right? After the inflammation phase, phase two of wound healing, your body uses that because it has proteins in it that are used to heal the tissue and help the skin and all of that stuff. When you have surgery, that swelling is there from that injury. If you are re-injuring tissue with aggressive massages that are painful, with cupping or body contouring or wood therapy or anything that's gonna damage that tissue, including garments that are too tight. Because again, think about a cut on your hand, right? If we're digging through there, if I'm using a wooden cup and doing this, if I'm using a machine that has heat and is like, it's like putting your hand in a microwave. Um, if I am taking a rubber band and tying it around this whole wounded area, it's not gonna heal. It's gonna keep re-injuring the same injury site. So now we've started the phases of wound healing all over again. We may, depending on what exactly we're doing, it may start, I don't wanna say, it, the best way to explain it is it's a scab underneath here and you're ripping the scab off every time you do that. You can't see the scab because it's liposuction and it's in your body. It's in between your skin and your tissue. But you are damaging the scab that's trying to heal every time you do aggressive things after lipo. So we don't want aggressive things, including the garments, because again, that is going to squeeze that area so tight and be so painful that anytime you move, it's gonna cause pressure that is not good pressure, that is not containment on that area and it's gonna cause more swelling because it's damaging the area. So your body thinks, oh, we need to bring more swelling and we have a new injury. So now you start with the swelling all over again. The other thing is, if you are not having enough water, and I talk about this in a couple videos. If you're not having enough water, you're not gonna be peeing. And if you're not peeing, how does the swelling get out of your body? The only way you get rid of swelling, whether it be from lipo or a pink eye or an infection or the flu or you stubbed your toe on a door frame, your body pees out swelling. If we're not taking water in, we're not gonna be peeing water out. So having two liters of water a day is what your body needs to survive. After lipo, when we're trying to heal, we wanna be getting 90 to 100 ounces. So three liters of water. So just one extra. So that's gonna be the next thing because if you're dehydrated, your body's gonna hold on to all of that. It's not going to pee it out the way it's supposed to. Now, with manual lymphatic drainage, right? So let's say, let's fast forward here because we talked about the garments, the diet, and the massages. Let's fast forward here on the how we fix it part. So let's say we do think the lipo didn't work. 
right? Whether we are fibrotic and hard and lumpy and bumpy and have all these issues or whether we are just swollen and we think it's fat, right? Because it's jiggly and it's and it's soft, so it just didn't work. Mm -mm. Swelling is not always tight and inflamed like the first couple days after surgery. Swelling can be filling up that space and it can feel heavy. It can feel heavy and it can feel a little stiff um, and it can feel like soft, but still tough. Like your skin feels tough. You can still be swollen. So you guys think you didn't, you know, the lipo didn't work. And now we're like, oh crap. Okay. So maybe it did work. Maybe I'm just really swollen. What do I do now? You find yourself an actual manual lymphatic drainage therapist, not someone who's using machines, not someone who's using oil, not someone who's just doing post-op massage, someone who's a manual lymphatic drainage therapist. If you don't know what manual lymphatic drainage is supposed to be like, like the actual technique, I can sit here all day and tell you guys it's a gentle skin stretching motion. We're not using heat, oil, machines, tools, nothing. Your therapist should know. I don't know where I put it, my lymphatic map. Um, but your therapist should know this map of the body. It's a scientific thing. It's not just rub in one direction, rub in the other direction, rub over the area. It's an actual scientific thing as to the mapping of your lymphatic system. And it's a system. So being able to work the system to know how the swelling is supposed to move out of your body and how to stimulate the lymph nodes, all of that is super important. I have a course, Post-Op Lymphatic Massage and Finding a Therapist, where I teach you guys all of that. Because it's important for you to know that when you are going to see someone, what they're supposed to be doing to do manual lymphatic drainage. Because I can sit here all day and explain it to you guys, but unless you know the fundamentals of that map, unless you know how it's supposed to go, what's important for a lymphatic massage to actually be a lymphatic massage, what that touch and that pressure is supposed to feel like, I explain all of that in the course. And then finding your lymphatic therapist. There are course directories and I have a vetting your therapist guide in that course. So if you guys need help understanding and knowing what your lymphatic massages are supposed to be after surgery or in general, what lymphatic massage is supposed to be because a lot of people, therapists will go and say they do lymphatic massage, say they do lymphatic drainage, but not be doing the right technique, not be starting in the right places, not be opening up the drains and the lymph nodes first before working on any areas of the body, not really know the science very well. So I teach you guys the science of how it's supposed to go so that when you walk into the room, as long as the basics are there, then you're good to go. Every style, chickly, foldy, vader, there are a couple different, which I explain in the course, a couple different styles of lymphatic drainage, like lineages. They all have different methods to their strokes, but they all still address the system in a way that is decongestive. This is what you guys need. You need to decongest that tissue of the swelling. So that swelling of the tissue, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> um, you wanna decongest the swelling from that tissue so that your body can absorb it and pee it out. So if you need help understanding and making sure, or if you've had massages and you're like, well, I tried lymphatic drainage, it didn't work. Mm, may not have been the actual thing. So check out the course um, and learn what it's supposed to be so that you can find a therapist properly. Because you guys can go on Google, look up credentials, do that all day, but then when you get in the room, it's a completely different story. So that's the first thing. Um, fixing it, again, the second thing, your compression garment and your foams. Um, there are foams that are memory foam and squishy that will cause fluid to be trapped. So anything that is going to over compress the area, a garment that is way too tight, and you guys know when it's too tight, you guys know when it's like, oh my God, this is like, the minute you put it on, you feel it digging in. It should not dig ever. And if your garment is loose, like loose where it's like, oh, this just feels like clothes, I don't, I'm fine. That's not good either. We got Goldilocks syndrome going on. We need it to be just right. So one of the things that helps a lot, especially if you have a garment that is comfortable but loose, is the foams. So what do the foams do? And I say this in every video. So the lipofoams, our lipofoams, medical grade polyurethane, are yellow. 
right now, this one, because it's two years old and has been exposed to oxygen. And there's a fun process called oxidization, which turns them yellow. That's how I know you guys are using them because in the pack, they are nice and fresh and white. So the foams, the point of the foams in your garment is to buffer the garment so it doesn't dig into you and restart that swelling process. The other thing is these foams, the polyurethane ones are medical grade, machine washable, reusable, but they are the same one that's used after uh, cancer when our clients have fibrosis, they use them in the overnight garments. So these foams actually stimulate your lymphatic system in the area that you put them. So they are going to be not redirecting the fluid right to your lymph nodes to get you to pee it out. That's your therapist's job. That's why it's important that you understand how the sequence is supposed to go and what your therapist is supposed to be doing with their hands during the massage. They do that. They do the technical spot work on the area. But for you and your garment to make sure that your body is being stimulated to reabsorb some of that swelling, that's what our foams do is they actually help stimulate in your garment because your garment is just a container, right? So your garment is just there to, let's do it this way, just to hold. Look at my tissue. Look at how my tissue moves, right? The point of a garment is not to do this. Do you see what happens to all the skin and tissue around when I squeeze and cut in, right? That's not the point of a garment. And a garment that's too loose, everything in here can jiggle and move around. We want our garment to hold the tissue so that it can heal. Just hold it so that you can still be able to move, but the tissue where my hand is, is not moving. It's staying in place. Everything above and below it can move, but this is staying in place where I'm holding it. Your garment is meant to hold you firmly, not squeeze or crush. So if your garment's a little too loose, Putting these in will help. It will give you some of that firmness. Here's the other thing, guys. A lot of your garments don't have correct seams and roll and cut into you when you move and indent and do all of these things. The foams prevent that. The foams are your layer of protection. So if we're having all that going on and we're at six months, I'm sorry, six weeks, eight weeks, and you guys are like, well, I feel better. My tissue's healed or healing, but I still have all these areas where it looks like nothing was done, just like that Instagram photo. Put the foams in those areas and it will help your body to decongest and reabsorb. Another misconception, you guys think it's about flattening, right, the area. It's about squeezing, it's about rubbing, it's about flattening the area. That is not how your body heals. You don't get a cut on your hand with a scab and try to flatten the area down as it's trying to heal to make sure it heals perfectly. That's not how that works. So when you're talking about flattening the area, it's an inside out job. It's drinking the water so you can pee out the swelling. It's your body healing without re-injuring and causing more inflammation. Your massages, making sure that they're proper. And it's about decongesting that tissue so your body suctions back the swelling that it doesn't need to heal because it's a lot of excess at that point because you're already, your tissue's already pretty much healed, right? We're, we're going on the side of you have no fibrosis and no complications. You feel great. You just have these extra pockets that you feel like the lipo didn't work. And you're, you know, three months out, four months out. That's where we're going with this. So let's say you don't have pain. You're perfectly fine, but you still see this area that was supposed to be done that's not flat and it's not painful. It's just like the tissue's heavy and full. We want to make sure that the garment is holding that area and put the foam on that area just to get that stimulation in that area to get your body to suck back the swelling so you pee it out because you're healing with the swelling trapped inside of you. That's all it is. So it's not that the lipo didn't work. It's that somewhere along the healing path, the swelling got stuck or you were causing more swelling to build up and fill up in that area and your body never got rid of it because you didn't have someone like me who's an MLD therapist to reroute it and tell your body, hey, suck this fluid back. You didn't have the foams in that area in your garment to create that container and that lymphatic stimulation and hold that area so that the swelling can come down. Those are the only things or you're not having enough water to pee out any of the swelling. So those are the major things. And just to wrap it up, because this is a nice short little video, which I'm happy about. I tried to keep it short. Just to wrap it up in a nice cute little bow. So when you say 
and you think when you think the liposuction didn't work that is not possible unless your surgeon tells you they did not do surgery in that area liposuction is sucking out the fat cells creating a space in between your tissue and your skin that fills up with swelling and if that swelling heals and gets trapped in there it will look like the fat and it will fill up the fat area that was taken out it is not that the lipo did not work. It's that somewhere along the healing process, swelling got trapped in there. And now we got to do something about it because now we think the lipo didn't work. And this is where the trouble comes in when you guys go for round two, round three, because they tell you, oh, the swelling will go down, wait six months. The swelling will go down, wait a year, and then we'll reevaluate. Come back at your three month. You go to your three month, you're like, hey, this is still looking like this. What's going on? And they're like, oh, it'll go away, give it time, I'll see you in six months. In six months, you're like, hey, what's going on? This is still here. Because you are waiting. Because your surgeon told you to wait. Because you're not doing any of the proactive post-lipo healing things, like finding a manual lymphatic drainage therapist, either because your surgeon told you you didn't need it, or said to wait, or whatever the case may be, or you found someone but it wasn't real manual lymphatic drainage, or you didn't have a proper garment, or you didn't wear your garment, or you didn't have proper foams, or you didn't have enough water, whatever any of those things are, either way, the swelling healed and got trapped in there, and you've waited so long that now you're like, okay, well, it didn't work because I don't feel any pain anymore. I'm not sore anymore, so this must be fat. It's not. The fat was removed. It's swelling that's stuck in that area. So the lipo didn't work. The idea that the lipo didn't work, the lipo did work. It's swelling that we never did anything to get out, whether that be your massages, your garment, your foams, whatever it is. It's the aftercare. It's not the lipo. That's it. So if you are having the lipo area situation of the lipo didn't work, chin lipo, arm lipo, thigh lipo, back lipo, all the things. Um, our foams, you can get a pack of three foams. If you had lipo 360, you need two packs. You need to be covered 360. If you're doing just one area, you can get one pack. So these are, um, the link is in our bio for these on our Instagram. The link is also in the description box for these, amarepostopshop.com. Um, to wash these, the detergent, the medical grade post-op detergent, surgeon recommended, is also in our shop. Please get that, because these go directly on your skin. Um, you're gonna need that to wash these. Don't ever use heat to wash these. Always wash these in cold water and either air dry or cool or delicate or fluff in the dryer. Um, for finding your therapist and understanding what manual lymphatic drainage is supposed to be so that you know when you walk in the room, you know what you're asking for and you know what you're looking for, Amare, uh, postopacademy.com. But if you go to the link in our bio on our Instagram, we offer uh, payment plans through Shopify for it. It's um, 150 so you can go to amarepostopshop.com and it's on there where you're going to get your foams. And you can do like a payment plan if you need to or purchase it directly from there. That link is also down in the description box and it's in our bio on our Instagram. Um, so that way you guys know what you're, what you're getting and what you're asking for. So that way you know what you're getting is actually the real thing and not just somebody who's saying it's lymphatic drainage. So I teach you guys about how swelling works, um, why you swell after surgery, a little bit like this, like what you guys are doing that's causing the swelling to stick to you, um, what your therapist should be doing in the room as far as like the hands-on part of it and then what credentials they're supposed to have so when you're calling to vet them like how do we know that they're actually certified what's the letters we're supposed to see after their name what are we expecting them to know about post-op what is their job as far as like how much should I expect them to know right can I ask them about garments can I ask them about fibrosis so they're gonna give me a straight answer do they know about any of this all of that's in there so that's uh go to amarepostopshop.com. That's the easiest way to find it or link in the bio on the Instagram. And then if you guys want to schedule with me, um, if you need help and you're like, okay, yeah, the lipo definitely didn't work or like I know that maybe the lipo worked, but I, I don't understand how to get the swelling off. I don't know what's going on. You can schedule a virtual with me if you're not in New Jersey. 732-841-0142. I do virtual appointments um, to help explain, like look at you and see what's going on and explain it to you. And then in New Jersey, Highland Park, and Elizabeth, New Jersey. Um, I have two offices. So whichever one you guys are closer to, you can actually come in and I can be your therapist and work on you. And we can set up a plan of action and figure it out and get you set up with your foams and the garment and all that stuff. Um, but guys, if you need help, call the office. 
If you DM us, we're going to tell you to call the office. If you email us and send us pictures of you in a paragraph, we're going to tell you to call the office because I need to see you. Whether it's virtually or in person, I need to see you. So give the office a call, 732-841-0142. Alex will be happy, as always, to get you set up on the schedule. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, guys. But the whole the lipo didn't work, it's not that the lipo didn't work. It's that the healing went wrong. And we can still get that out. The lymphatic system is designed to absorb excess swelling, period. After surgery, after infection, just because you have edema, maybe after pregnancy, if you're swollen and have edema, um, that, that doesn't go away for years either unless we're actively getting the body to get that out. So, I mean, it can be months, six months, eight months that you are still swollen for after lipo and think that it didn't work. So... If you need help with that, you know where to reach me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I hope this was a little bit helpful, short little video, and I will see you guys soon. Ashley with the Mare. Bye.